like a blessing, you know what I'm saying? But at the same time, it must so feel about, I feel like I got to give opportunities that people never gave me. You are definitely rich gang now, correct? I'm rich gang for life. Rich gang for life. What is it like having a mentor like Birdman, someone who's so big and legendary in the game already? I mean, I've been looking for that dude all my life. You know what I'm saying? I idolize him. And the reason for me idolizing him because he got a lot of niggas around him that he put on. And I got a whole bunch of niggas around me broke that I need to put on. Is there any artists that didn't actually make the tape that you plan on working with in the near future? I mean, you know, there's a lot of people I left out and they keep calling me like, why I ain't make the tape? Young Dolph, me and him got a personal relationship. I'm supposed to put him on our boots and yo got him. There's a lot of people that I left out. I tried to get Drake on now. I'm just trying to go for the biggest thing, you know what I'm saying? I'm trying to make my campaign the biggest campaign. I'm trying to do what some people can't do. I got in the studio personal with every artist on my tape. I can't just do no song with nobody, and I don't really know them. I got to get to know them. I got to kick it with them, like vibe with them. So that way I make my features so good and so feelingful because we just be vibing, you know what I'm saying? It's all about positive vibes. Like, it's just like, if me and you cool right now, you're going to be comfortable around me. All my songs on my project was from scratch. How do you feel about those artists who don't get it out the mud and are out here false claiming just to make good music? I got to tell you, them bitches lucky. They some lucky motherfuckers. And I wasn't lucky, you know what I'm saying? It's just like a basketball player. It's just, I just feel like we putting so much fucking work out here in these streets. And I feel like all the street niggas really need to make a stand. And just fight against that shit. You know what I'm saying? Let's do it for the real niggas. Team real. Not team fuck nigga. Like, let's get away from the fuck niggas and, and get with what's real. You know what I'm saying? I'm the really nigga doing this shit. Swamp Izzo in the building tonight, right? Yeah, Swamp Izzo in, in my household. You know what I'm saying? That's my dog. He raised me. You know what I'm saying? When I was homeless and kicked out the house or whatnot. So, that's how it became a relationship with me and your scooter. I asked every artist I interview, what advice would you give to the next up and coming artist who would like to be in your position go get the money go get the money invest in yourself don't look for no handouts go hustle and make your budget to invest in yourself don't let no other nigga fuck over you man believe in yourself and don't try to get nobody else to fucking believe in you man you know what i'm saying and that's where a lot of nigga mess up at you gotta go get the money and believe in yourself and invest in yourself definitely this is be golden and this is music talk we're here with rollo Thank you for having me. Anytime, brother. Found. Thank Boom. you. Rich guy. Value of the streets two out right now.